the Anaheim Ducks and their prospects. I know, I know, I'm tired of hearing about them as well, but you know what? When someone is on pace to have the best offensive season for a defenseman in 35 years of OHL hockey, you know we're going to talk about it. Hey hockey fans, I'm Josh, this is the Hockey Flow, the place that predicted a Ducks playoff push this season. Think about subscribing if you haven't, and smash that like button so I know whether or not to keep doing these player profiles. I do appreciate you either way. We love history here at the Hockey Flow, and there is one lad down in the OHL right now that is absolutely on fire. Pavel Minchkov. Pavel Minchkov. Recently traded to the Ottawa 67s from the Saginaw Spirit of the OHL, Minchkov is not only on fire, he is a chance for the best offensive season for a defenseman since the 1988-1989 season and might just be the steal of the 2022 NHL draft and he was picked 10th overall. So what does a pace look like for a historic season? Let's unpack! First up, some context. So if we take a look at our current OHL scoring leaderboard, courtesy of quanthockey.com, we can see here through January 10th, Minchkov is currently third overall in scoring for the entire league, and he's doing that as a defenseman. He did play his first game with the Ottawa 67s tonight as well, so currently, through the season, he's played 38 games, and he's not only setting fire to the highlight reels, he has 16 goals and 55 points, stats courtesy of Elite Prospects. He has also collected three straight OHL Defenseman of the Month honors. This is absolutely unheard of stuff from the young lad. He even set a team scoring record in his season and change with the Saginaw Spirit. According to the OHL Twitter account, his 1.1 points per game mark is the highest for a defenseman in Spirit history. That's right, in spirit history. I was actually so intrigued by Minchkov's uh, remarkable season that I sifted through 30 years of OHL scoring leaderboards to find a season where a defenseman finished this high in the scoring race. And you know what I found? In the past 30 seasons, 30 seasons, not a single defenseman has cracked the top three in scoring for this season. Not one. Now, I understand that this is fairly optimistic of me to suggest since Minkoff still has almost half a season left, but here at the Hockey Flow, the potential for history is something that just gets us fired up. So you know what? For argument's sake, we're going to take a look at Minkoff's excellent production courtesy of Elite Prospects, and we're actually going to project his final numbers for the season and see where that compares to other excellent seasons by defensemen in OHL hockey history. We can see here that if he continues at his current pace, he will finish the season with 29 goals, 100 points in just 69 games played. Again, as a defenseman. But who would Minkoff have to compete with for the title of best offensive season by a defenseman in the last 35 years? Well, here at the Hockey Flow, we love our data, so I dug through the stats and I compiled them using quanthockey.com. And here we can see that we have to go back 35 years to find a season where a defenseman finished this high in the scoring race. Brian Fogarty, the former Las Vegas Thunder and Kansas City Blades defenseman, put up an absolutely ridiculous season in 1988-89 with the Niagara Falls Thunder as he led the OHL in scoring that season. We can also see some familiar names on this list, with Euler consistent topic of conversation, Evan Bouchard doing it most recently, and the most uh, off-injured Ryan Ellis with his dominant two seasons back in the mid-2000s. But you know what? None of them finished in the top three in scoring for their respective seasons. Now, is this just a product of lesser scoring amongst the rest of the OHL? Nope. 
again, if we look back at our stats, we can see that Minchkov's points per game number is actually right in the middle amongst these gents with a very respectable 1.459 through 38 games played. His shooting percentage of 15% is a little high, right? But he is joining a team in the Ottawa 67s that will be looking to contend, and we saw tonight that they're absolutely going to score goals. I don't see a reason for a dip in his production. So can Mintkoff actually have the best season by a defenseman in the OHL in the last 35 years and show that he was actually the steal of last season's draft at 10th overall? Or was this just an excuse to watch some disgusting clips from an exciting young player? You tell me. Let me know down in the comments. But that's going to do it for today, hockey fans. Thank you so much for tuning in. I do appreciate you guys. Let me know down in the comments if you think Mintkoff can actually make history, finish in the top three in scoring. Be sure to check out our other videos too. I do appreciate you guys. Consider subscribing if you haven't. Until next time, hockey fans. Cheers!